Everyone get that phone, please. Right, hello everyone. So, we were in Clan Duffery the other day, uh, leaning, and the front prop went on the D2. Again? Again. So, this is the spare that we carry, just in case. And to save all the messing, I'm gone. We went to Gwyn Lewis and bought one of his. So this is about to go on. I'm just going to take some more nuts and bolts off and sort it out. So we've had to have a change of uh, mechanic because the other one's too busy at the minute. So we've got the prop tool. There's the bolts now coming off. We've got the wheels off the ground, so you can just spin the prop round, and then it makes it easier to get to the other bolts. So we're nearly there. I want to know, Dave. You might want to know. Get correct because I'm not photogenic and I don't give a. You're gorgeous. To my uh, walking I water was. drive. Oh, I like that. Look at that's that. That's a And that's it's it's, it's like a. Anti-poverty spec ratchet in it. It just saves manual labour, doesn't it? That's right. Hey, I'm all for that, mate. I'm all for that. Those lazy right. fat don't want to do work. It's old. So, props nearly off. So before the new one goes on, we are going to clean up all the flange. What have we got here, Dave? We've got the flange. Yeah. On the front differential. Okay. So, why is it important that the front flange has to be clean before the new prop goes on? Realistically, nobody likes a dirty flange. Yeah. So, you know, before you want to insert your prop into it, yeah. it's better to give it a good clean. Okay. Because if it's clean, everything slides together properly. I like that. And Once it's slid together properly, a bit of lubrication, everything just pops right in. What would you use on the flange, Steve, to lubricate it? My Milwaukee tool. Okay. So, I've got some nice uh, grease there to throw on your flange after you've done it. Yes, brilliant. So, if you just get your big oh. tool on the flange, give it a clean up, and I'll go get the grease yes, to lubricate it. Problem. Okay. Yeah. So, given that that surface is a good clean up, get any surface rust and dirt off it, make sure it's clean. Voila, we have a nice polished flange. I like that, Dave. Thanks for that. Just finish it off. Garage, you work in here. Where are you? I'm coming in. Hang on. Okay, I'm just greasing the flange up. Okay. Can I get can I get round just to see? Can you just squeeze in while I grease it? Yeah, go on. Can you just squeeze in? Yeah. Are you squeezing in? I'm in. You're in? I'm in. You're in. There you go. That's tight there. Okay. Right, so. You're greasing the flange up. What why is it important to grease the flange? Put the new prop on. Two faces touching each other. Right. And it gives for ease ease of insert. Does it? Of application. So number one tip is always grease. Grease the tool before it goes in the flange yes. for lubrication. Yeah. And right, stops okay. friction. Oh well. Reduces yeah, reduces the friction. Every, reduces friction everyone the Well everyone wants friction. Uh, no, sorry, no one wants friction, do they? Unless you're a brake pad, then you do want friction. <laughs> yeah, note to self. Never grease brake pads. Ne oh yeah, that's a disclaimer. Never I never pads. said grease gre brake pads, by the way. So, yeah, we're going around the circles now. So. Your nipples are in. Your nipples are already been inserted in the, in, the, in the shaft. What? I thought I had to put the nipples in. The nipples have already been inserted. Oh yeah, there they are, all pointy. In the shaft. Right. The nipples are very erect. Okay. That's a Anyway, so prop shaft, Gwyn Lewis. There's all the details if you want one. There's the part number. There's his email address and phone number. Give him a call. He's a lovely guy. He'll sort you out. And always use K48 Molly grease. 
Morris Lubricants is a good brand. There is others available. So we're gonna get this sorted out and then get it installed. So, Green Lewis prop shaft, all in, fitted. All greased up with the molly grease. I know that's not molly grease, that's what come with it inside it, but we have used the molly grease inside it. And we've done the shaft. It's very, very important to make sure we put plenty of grease in the shaft, the slider, sorry. Because they don't have much grease in from now. So, perfect job done. Hopefully, that will last a lot longer than the last few. Oh, missing a little cover. Let me put that cover back on. I'll do that in a minute. So, there you go. One front prop shaft, all done. Thanks to Green Lewis. See you in a bit.